Hi everybody, it's Royal Ruby. I just wanted to do a video for everybody today um, just to give you a little update on what's going on and also some important potty conversation, okay? And I don't mean potty mouth, where we're gonna swear and say bad words. <laughs> I really mean potty, okay? <laughs> when you're camping in a van, that's important that you have a way to go to the bathroom. Okay, so that's what this video is gonna be all about today, guys. It's gonna be about how we go to the bathroom in the van. <laughs> when you're 64, like I am, I don't know about some of you people, male or female, ladies and men, I'm sure if you're my age that you at least get up once a night to go to the bathroom because it's just something we do as we get older. Our bladder doesn't hold our urine as long as it does when we're younger. So I watch a lot of these YouTube videos and I'm hearing these young people go, oh yeah, you know, like we don't have a bathroom in our van because we hardly ever go to the bathroom in our van. We just don't want to do that. So we just stop at places and go. And I'm thinking to myself, mm-hmm, you wait till you get older, sister friend. You are going to be getting a potty in that van. <laughs> And it will be a priority. But the beauty of a van is that you can change as you change your lifestyle and as you age or whatever. Um, you can add step ladders. You can add step stools. You can add ramps. You can add, you know, stuff on top of the van. There's so much you can do. But this is one thing, at my age anyway, that is a priority in my camper van. So as you guys know, if you've watched any of my previous videos, what I've usually used when I go camping is this KDD toilet, which has been wonderful. Now this collapses into a little folded square, this little, this little toilet, which makes it so nice. You can store it underneath your bed. You can store it in the back. You can store it anywhere. Um, but what I was in the habit of doing was setting this up for me in a toilet, either a toilet tent outside my van, or I started to, within the last three camping trips, as I said, you change things as you go. I actually set this up in my van, on the floor here, or up on top of the platform of the chair. And I would get up in the middle of the night and it was not hard on my knees because it was raised up, you know, on the chair, on the platform of the chair. And I would use this and keep it set up and I stopped putting it in the toilet tent outside because that way I could be in the in the van and I never had to get out of the van. And you got to remember, guys, at nighttime, it's kind of scary to go out of your van. You don't know if there's an animal out there, a wild animal. There could be, you know, people walking around out there, like checking out your van. Um, so you want to, for security and safety, you want to be able to stay the whole night in your van. You don't want to have to get up, get a flashlight, walk up to the bathroom at the campsite. I've done it. Trust me, I've done it. So like I said, I have changed, <laughs> my bathroom stuff has changed over and over again. But this was my system. This KDD toilet is wonderful. It will hold, I think, up to 300 pounds. It collapses, like I said. Has this neat little lid. So you can use this as a step stool or not a step so a uh, little ottoman in your van. Um, but the lid comes off and then you have your toilet seat, which covers the inside. Now inside here, I have several things that I put into my, into my little KD toilet. I have these toilet bags. I usually put two of them in because guess what? These sometimes tear. There's nothing grosser than, you know, getting your, you know stuff out of there and it starts to leak or something like that so i use two of these you just take this part off put your garbage bag in there and then i put a little bit of kitty litter i use kitty litter in there and you just put that in there and then when you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom guess what you can go it's ready to go you can even keep it you know, put the lid back on and go several times a night in the same bag. You don't have to like take the bag out each time because you don't smell anything when you put the lid on. This really does hold the smell in. But what I also did is I bought one of these Go Girls. They're like $11 on Amazon for girls. These are nice. When you go pee, you just hold it up against yourself and then voila, you're a dude. <laughs> 
they're peeing like a dude. So I've used these when I'm out in backcountry, like say I'm camping somewhere where I'm at a national park or something like that, and I just have to go pee, and it's the middle of the day, and I don't want to go in the toilet for whatever reason. So this is the other option for a girl. It's called a Go Girl. They're $11 on Amazon, and they're awesome. So that's another way for women to just go if they just have to pee. But in the middle of the night, I don't want to open the door and use my Go Girl. I don't want to go outside or open my van door. I don't want to unlock my van door. So this has been really handy and I am going to keep it. And I'm not going to travel with it right now because as you'll see in a few minutes, I have something new that I added to my van. So this is going to be something that I hold on to in the event that I decide I don't like my layout and I want to go back to this toilet. So I am going to keep it because I do love it. And these are really inexpensive. I think it was like $39 on Amazon. It's called a KDB toilet. And like I said, it will collapse, but I kept mine together up, you know, together like this, because if I wasn't using it, I would put it down here and use it as a footstool. You know, I could put my feet up on it. It's really comfortable. Um, it's nice to have, it's padded. So I would just pull it out from under my bed during the day sometimes, sit in here, you know, have my table. I have a little table that attaches to my bed. I bring it out here and I sit and work on my computer. It's very relaxing, very good for your back and your knees. You don't have any, it's very comfortable. So I'm gonna keep it, but I'm not gonna travel with it. So my next thing, which I think I did do a video uh, previously, I had built a loft in my tiny house and I bought this toilet initially for my loft area. It's a portable Lavio dry flush toilet. So I had it up in my loft for the longest time. Whenever guests would come, they would use it. Um, the dry flush toilet is awesome. It's amazing. And I started thinking, you know what? I should just try to put that in my van and see if I can find a good place to put it since I do have a lot of creative space in my van, free space because I use the Thule up there. Not a lot of free space, but if you reorganize and rework things, you can find a way to fit something in that you really, really love. So guys, what this video is going to do today is to show you my Lavio dry flush toilet in my minivan. You will not believe it. <laughs> it kind of works like a diaper genie. Like um, you put this cartridge in and I'll show you the cartridge. These are the cartridges. Okay. It has a, like a diaper genie kind of an effect. You just stick these in your toilet. I'll be showing you in a few minutes and the waste, you know how a diaper genie twists it and turns it and then it goes down into the bottom and you don't smell a thing? Well, that's how this works. Only it's a toilet, okay? So this is what I use now. This is my latest addition to my van. I did have to part with my three drawer storage system that I had here at the front, but you'll see I found a really creative way to move that stuff to a different location that's even handier. It's just right under my bed here pull this drawer out. I have my coffee under here. I have a, a little light so I can see in the little compartment. And then I have all of my um, coffee filters and all that. And they're really handy. They're right here at my feet. I just pull them out of a drawer with a light in it and I can make my coffee. My coffee pot is still there. It's sitting over here. My tray, my little basket that I love at the front of my van. That's all still there. So now guys, I'm going to reveal to you my Lavio flush toilet and how you put the cartridge in and how easy it is to operate. Okay. So this is basically my new setup, the way it looks when you enter from my door into my van. I have removed the three drawer storage system that I had right here. And now I have underneath that coral colored curtain. That's actually an, a blackout curtain. I have it underneath of there. I have a toilet. <laughs> That's my Lavio flush toilet. It also functions as my bedside table because I still have my basket here and my coffee pot here. So it's a little lower than my three drawer system was. And like I said, I still have everything that was in that three drawer system right here, easily accessible. So I didn't compromise finding things or ease of finding things. It actually is just as easy as it was before. It's just that it's down here now instead of right in front of me. Um, 
Yeah, so I like actually having my coffee pot a little lower because now when I reach over, you know, I can pour the water in without having to stand up um, because as you know, in a minivan, you know, you're limited with headspace. So I kind of like it a little lower, but if you remove this, I'm going to unveil my toilet. Ta-da! <laughs> there it is, guys. The Lavio Dry Flush Toilet. Now, the dimensions on this toilet are pretty good. They're 20 inches in depth. So from here to here, you have 20 inches. It's 18 inches high. Now, my bed, I didn't quite have the clearance to put it under my bed. So I decided to put it here and use it as a bedside table and also just have it right here so that at nighttime what I do is I turn it facing front and then I have my toilet set up and it's a, just a regular toilet. Um, it's 16 inches wide so from here to here it's 16 inches. So yeah it's it's a nice uh, small toilet and it has a battery in the back. I'll be showing you that in a few minutes. That's how you power it. That's how you flush it because you do have a flush with this toilet and you never smell a thing. I mean, I've seen reviews on this before I bought it and the reviews are excellent on this toilet. People use them in sprinter vans instead of buying the um, Nature's Head toilet. A lot of people prefer this toilet. Now it is a little expensive. Um, it's available at dry-flush.com. That's dry hyphen, it's like a little dash, flush, F-L-U-S-H.com. You can also buy it on Amazon. I paid $8.95, but then you get two cartridges and some what's called pea powder, which looks like this. And what pea powder does, it allows you to use the, the toilet up to three times by just adding pea powder every time you go to the bathroom, every time you urinate, and then you don't have to flush it every time. Because the cartridges give you 15 flushes all together. So remember this cartridge that I showed you? And I'll be putting that in for you in a few minutes. That gives you up to 15 flushes. And what happens is when it flushes, it goes down into like a diaper genie kind of a configuration. And the little button that you push to flush it, it just kind of sucks it all down. So you literally don't smell anything. So this is a really nice toilet. Granted, it's a little expensive. $8.95, it's not cheap. And the cartridges, you, you get two with it when you buy it. And you get the pee powder and you also get a charger for the battery. Now the battery will stay charged for up to 300 flushes before you have to charge it again. So it lasts a really, really long time. But... The cartridges, when you run out, you know, after you do 30 flushes, you're out of cartridges because you only get two with the toilet. You got to buy their $67.75 on their website for three cartridges. But, you know, that's a lot of, that's what, 45 times to flush. So I don't know how many times you're going to be flushing your toilet. But when I go on a camping trip, you know, I don't think I'm going to flush it even 15 times. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll take two cartridges with me when I travel. So that's the um, cost. And I already told you the dimensions. It weighs about 29 pounds. It's not really heavy. And you don't have to do anything as far as lifting it at nothing. You can leave it in your van. You can attach it to a, it comes with a bracket that you can attach it to the floor if you worry about it, you know, coming off or you tipping over or something. Um, I think it holds up to 500 pounds. Um, it does hold a uh, good weight. It's a very sturdy toilet. So now I'm going to show you how I put the cartridge in and how the actual mechanism works. Okay, so here's the toilet facing front. This is what I do in the evening. I just, you know, take the uh, little tray table off the top here. Now what I'll do at nighttime, just so I have my little bedside table, I'll just sit that like that so that I still have my bedside table. But I remove the tray in the coffee pot. I put that back in over my sink area until morning when I make my coffee. So that this is set up at nighttime. And all I have to do is lift the lid. And there it is. Now, this is just like a regular toilet. The size of it is exactly like your toilet at home. And this is um, like a hard plastic 
It's, it's really well made. I'm gonna move it out a little bit more. There you go. So now you can see this part here lifts up just like a toilet. So when you clean it, it looks just like a toilet. When you put the cartridge in, you just remove this part here. Sit that along here. And inside here, there's like a bucket. Now I already put the bag in, but this bucket is attached down at the bottom. There's a little square thing that this bucket fits into. It's a plastic bucket. You put this black bag over top of the bucket and then there's a rubber band that comes with your cartridges that goes around the, the top of the bag. Okay, so here's my toilet, okay? So basically you're gonna take this thing, you're gonna fit it down inside here. Just push it down into the bottom. And it's like a hexagon down there. So you're pretty much just going to try to line up the shapes as best you can. And then these little dent, dent things go in the back. There's two little ridges like right at the back of the toilet here. These have to line up at the back. So now that's in there, okay? And you just put this back on. And then you flush it once. I don't know if you can see what's happening in there. See that? So that was one flush. So I just wasted a flush showing you this. But I wanted to show you how it worked. So that's basically all you do. When you go to the bathroom... You just push this black button right here, okay? That's your flush button. And now you're all ready for your next time to go to the bathroom. You literally smell nothing at all with this toilet. So there you go. That's my new toilet. <laughs> now to take the, once you have 15 flushes and you're all finished and you've, you know, used your last flush and you'll know because a red line appears in the bottom of the liner so you know that's your last flush all you do is that you know that black bag at the bottom that you have the rubber band around you just pull that up around the cartridge because the cartridge is now flat and at the bottom and you just pull it up around it's like a diaper you just tie the rubber band around the top or twist it around and tie it and go throw it in the garbage it's perfectly safe there's no chemicals there's no smell um it's wonderful it's great on your knees because it sits nice and high so you have you know i don't even touch my head when i sit on it and i'll show you guys i'll sit on it for you so you can see i don't even touch my head which is great so i can sit here comfortably on the toilet just like i'm at home let me tell you what guys <laughs> this means a lot when you're my age. a good way to potty all right, and I've discovered that this, now I'll know once I use this when I'm out on the road, I haven't gone camping with it yet. If I feel like it's a pain for me to use this and I, I wanna go back to my KDD toilet, I'll take it back up to the loft and I won't use it anymore, but I think it's gonna be wonderful. Now, when you wanna charge it, let me show you my charger. This comes with the toilet and basically the battery on the back of the toilet is easy to take out or you can just leave it in the back and then these two little prongs plug into it. This goes into your jackery or your wall if you're taking it in the house. I usually take the battery out of the uh, toilet and take it inside and just charge it in the wall at my house. But this will charge in your jackery as well. So that will give you up to 300 flushes once you charge your battery. So mine's been charged so mine's good forever. You know, I probably, this will be good for at least six months. And like I said, it has lots of headroom for me. It only weighs 29 pounds. There's no knee strain. Um, the replacement cartridges, you just throw them away. There's no chemicals. There's no danger to the environment. You just throw them into a trash receptacle. Um, the biggest I think downfall to the toilet is it is a little expensive. Like the cartridges to buy three of them at $67. So that's what, $20 for 15 flushes. 
But for me to have the ease of not having to touch anything, you know, with the nature's head, you got to turn things, you got to grind the thing, you got, I don't want to deal with any of that. To me, this is a perfect solution. You don't have to touch anything. You never smell anything. I'm laying right beside my toilet. You literally don't smell anything. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, guys, that's my new potty. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you how nice it is to sit on and how much, you know, headroom I have plenty. I have enough headroom. Okay. So you put your lid up. <laughs> now I'm not going to really go to the bathroom. <laughs> but here I am. Okay. You have plenty of, you can see, I don't know if you can see. I'm going to try to show you. Here's my head. Now I'm only five feet tall. So I'm not touching. Okay, I'm sitting on the toilet and I'm not touching. I'm touching a little bit on this plastic piece, but as far as here, I have about another inch and a half, two inches. And at night, you know, I have reflectix on these windows. You can't see in. Um, and you have lots of privacy, you know, when you're in your van at night. But I just get up off my bed and I'm sitting on the toilet just like I would at home. It's amazing. And it's... It's awesome. <laughs> I can't tell you guys how much I love this toilet. That's my new toilet. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions or anything or comments you want to make, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you listen to the video the whole way through because I saved the big reveal for the very end so that everybody would listen to the video the whole way through. Um, give me a like if you like the video. Give me a thumbs up. And share the video with anybody that you know that might be thinking about, you know, going camping and having their own little minivan set up. And they're older like me and they just want to be able to have a toilet in their van, even if you have a minivan. And if you have the right setup, you know, the way I have it is I have all this floor space here. So I have plenty of room for the toilet. So please, guys, watch the video and get one. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. So I hope you had fun with our potty chat. It was a great video for y'all. Practical stuff on Royal Ruby's channel. Sometimes not stuff we want to talk about, but it's still important and it's practical. So I hope you have a blessed week this week and I'll see you down the road. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.